everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm working on kind of framing out these windows. As you can see, all the windows here have just kind of, you can see the foam, the insulating foam on the outside of the house, the spray foam all kind of oozing around the corners of them and everything. We want to box those in, and once we get a board up on the top, we'll be able to install our window blinds. I ordered these a while ago, uh, to, you know, so I'd make sure I had everything when I needed it. I got them from JustBlinds.com and it was actually pretty good. Uh, I, I felt like the price was fair. I mean, it wasn't like some kind of like bargain basement thing, but the price was fair. Uh, not having opened them yet, I mean, they seem like they're of good quality. <laughs> you know, we'll know when you actually start using them. But uh, yeah, if you're looking for a place to get blinds, it was really easy to kind of customize like the exact widths that you wanted and all the features and everything. One cool feature about these blinds is uh, they're the kind that kind of pull down, it creates kind of an accordion, kind of honeycomb uh, chambered area in here. And that's gonna offer a degree of insulation over the windows. When the windows are cold in the middle of the winter, uh, which we're in right now, uh, yeah, it'll offer just a little bit of baffling between the warm air inside the house and the cool air on the outside. But I gotta get the boards up first before I can attach these guys. I've got one right behind you to your left that I already started working on. I've got three boards around it. This is the first one that I've done. Uh, there's one board that goes continuously all the way across the top, and then these two boards come down from the sides. I could have done it the other way where these guys will go all the way up and this one's sandwiched in the middle, but I thought it would look kind of nicer, uh, kind of like a lintel over the whole thing to do it this way. What these boards are is they're just uh, modified wall boards where I just uh, cut off one side, the tongue and the groove. I actually left the groove back there uh, and slid it right up against the window and I cut the tongues off on the front side. I'm only gonna do three boards around each window. Uh, the bottom here, I'm not gonna put a board and it's not because I'm gonna leave it there and make it look all trashy with like seeing the foam and everything. Uh, what I'm gonna do down here is concrete. Uh, we're gonna be putting, uh, pouring concrete sills at the bottom of each window. Uh, the reason I chose to do that uh, was a couple of reasons. One uh, is that, you know, when you have plants on the windowsill, sometimes, you know, there's a little humidity around the plant. Sometimes it'll like leave a ring or like, a, you know, mildew or rot out if there's wood underneath. This way, if it's stone, you don't have to worry about that. They're also going to collect a little bit of thermal heat. That's a really negligible <laughs> benefit, but they'll, they'll absorb a little bit of thermal heat from the window. Uh, and also, there was some other reason why I was doing that. Oh, I just thought it looked nice. I thought it looked cool. Uh, so are they gonna just do concrete, uh, kind of like a pour like the floor? I'm gonna mix uh, some gray, and I've got some of this reddish stuff left over and some black stuff left over. I'm gonna mix that all up and kind of make a grayish, darkish, reddish kind of thing there. Um, I might also put some uh, slate tile into it. I'm not 100% certain on that, but I'm definitely not doing it in wood. It's gonna be some kind of a stone down there. The step I'm on right now is uh, cutting out the foam for this window. Uh, I've gotta trim out all this kind of stuff. I've just got a regular kitchen knife, which I just recently sharpened, and I'm just trying to get a nice clean cut of, uh, of all this stuff, trying to not to make a huge mess. That's one thing once you, finish a house and you move into it, you're really reluctant to want to really put a lot of sawdust and foam dust and everything into the house. So you want to be a little bit more, you know, careful about <laughs> generating a lot of that stuff. So I'm going to carefully, neatly trim this thing out, uh, get all this foam trimmed off, and then, you know, just three boards, three boards, three boards, and uh, I think I'm going to put up blinds as I go just so we can appreciate some of the privacy that we're going to get once we get the blinds up. Because that's another nice thing, it's not just insulation, you get privacy. At night, we feel like we're kind of on display, and it has even been mentioned by one of the people in the comments of this channel that uh, a sniper outside could very easily uh, snipe us from, <laughs> from uh, outside shooting us inside the house, uh, you know, if they wanted to. I'm not super concerned about that. It's mostly uh, moose and uh, deer and, you know, the occasional coyote out there. But, you know, who knows? <laughs> I guess that's an extra benefit too. But mostly, I'd like a little bit of privacy. We want to get that insulation up. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll have another video next time I do something big and exciting like this.